All right, I wanted to take a minute and show you Stellarium Web, which is a really amazing tool. And I hope after seeing this, you're gonna like get excited about how you can use it for uh, making sense out of the night sky. Even, even like you could use it tonight, just to say, hey, what's that bright star? You can look it up and um, identify things. So when you first open up the program, um, you're gonna have this panel on the left-hand side, which is kind of like an ad for their mobile app. There are a few settings up here, but we're not gonna mess with those. So you can just click on this hamburger icon to make that go away. Now, uh, I wanna kind of orient you to the screen. So you can click and drag all around the screen, kind of almost like Google Maps, you know, and, and make your way around. You can also zoom in and out using your cursor wheel. Um, and so you can even treat this almost like a telescope, like a virtual telescope. If you were to click on one of these uh, circles here, that's a nebula, and I can hit the space bar maybe, maybe not, I'll just have to center it. And I can zoom in like a telescope and I should even be able to see what some of these objects look like. You see how the nebula appears there? Um, so you can really do some amazing stuff in this program. I wanna highlight some of just the essential features here. Um, and that has to do with like turning things on and off in the sky, as well as uh, changing your location and the date and time. So the first thing I wanna highlight here is um, when I click on anything, you'll see that this information window appears in the left-hand side. It'll give me the name of the object, uh, maybe some also known as, and it'll give me lots of information like the magnitude, that is the brightness of the object, um, how far away it is. If it's a star, it'll tell me what kind of star it is. Uh, lots of useful information. Um, on the bottom left-hand side here, you see location. So I'm in Ferrysburg right now, but if I click on that, I can actually change my location to anywhere in the world, uh, which is pretty cool. And so um, I could type in, for example, uh, Hollywood, California. And it'll give me a bunch of options. Now that's actually like, you'll notice not useful. You'd think Hollywood, California would be like very specific. And it's giving me like street addresses, right? In Canada, which is a little bit insane. So what, what's actually the most useful thing to do is to type in latitude and longitude. So I happen to have a particular latitude and longitude here, and I'm gonna type that in 34.1184,118.3004. All right, actually that's in west, so I'm gonna make that negative. And let's see where this takes us. Oh, it takes us right into Los Angeles. And if I actually zoom in way in, you'll even see this is at Griffith, park because this is the famous Griffith, Griffith, uh, Griffith Observatory. All right. So what I've just done by changing the location to the Griffith Observatory is that now Stellarium is going to show me exactly what the sky looks like. If I hit use this location, it's going to show me this is what the sky looks like right now from the Griffith Observatory. Now notice the, the earth, the ground here doesn't look anything like the Griffith Observatory. This is just an image that they use, a general image but it shows me where the sun would be in the sky, um, where anything else like the moon might be or any bright stars you might be able to see, which of course you wouldn't in the middle of the day. So you can change your location to anywhere just by typing in uh, the search button, the latitude and longitude and saying, use this location. Now you can also change the time. So here I have this time uh, box in the bottom right hand corner and I can change the date and the time, notice it's military time, to just about anything I want. Um, so I'm going to, let's just say, go back a few years just for fun. And if I hold the button down, it'll go extra quick. Okay, so I could go back maybe to my birthday, 1982. I was born in, oops, let's go up to August. Not that you care at all what the sky looked like on my birthday, but you might want to do this for your own birthday say, hey, what, what did the night sky look like on the day I was born? Okay, well, you can do that. Or what did the daytime sky? Now, of course, this is like the middle of the day, so we might wanna make it nighttime. So I'm just gonna keep going here. Um, now it looks to me like this time is a little wonky. Like it's showing that sunset was is pretty late, but I guess that might make sense. Let's see here, it's 10 o'clock, right? I guess that sun could be setting that late. That seems a little off. Uh, maybe that's showing a different time zone. In any event, I can go till the middle of the night and I could say, hey, what does the sky look like on my birthday? Okay, so I can go to any place 
I can go to any time. All right, so that's pretty cool. These buttons at the bottom are worth playing with. You can turn the constellations on and off. You can turn on the artwork that represents these constellations. Sometimes it's helpful to turn off the atmosphere so then you can see stars in the middle of the day. Um, so if I were to go back to the daytime here, there's the sun, but I can turn off the atmosphere and now I can see all the stars that would be around the sun. All right, there's Venus, I could click on that. It'll give me information about Venus. I can also turn on some of the coordinate systems that um, we learn about. So this is a horizon coordinate system with altitude and azimuth, or I could turn on the equatorial system with right ascension and declination. You could turn on and off galaxies and deep sky objects, and you can switch the whole thing to night mode. Now features may change slightly as this uh, program gets improved over time, but those core features of changing your location and the time won't change. Uh, all right, I hope that helps orient you to the pieces and uh, of this program. It's really cool. There's a lot to play with and explore, and I hope you have fun with it.